I'm gonna show you how to make taco cups. So cut your tortillas in half like this. Now you're gonna put all your tortillas into your muffin tray just like this in order to make a little cup form. Now that we have all of these right here, we're gonna go ahead and get our ground beef. So I already seasoned it a little bit with some taco seasoning. And we're gonna start filling all of these up just like this, perfect. And you just wanna put it about you know, a third of the way to about halfway. Anywhere in between that is perfect. Perfect, look at that. And ground beef is so easy to cook, guys. You know, it really only takes a few minutes, so keep that in mind, it makes it real, real easy to do this. And these are just so good. If you're into tacos, you know, into any um, type of burritos or anything of the sort, then I highly recommend that you try this. Okay, so we have that going on now. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our nacho cheese, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and get a spoon and we're just gonna go ahead and do a glop of our nacho cheese right in here, just like that, right on top, off to the side, whatever works. We'll go ahead and make sure you put a nice little spoonful of it in there, okay? So this is about a tablespoon, I'd say, anywhere around there. And remember, it's just gonna all bake together, so just put as much as you like. I think that one needs a little bit more. Perfect. So we have that going. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our diced jalapenos. So this adds a nice little spice to this, which is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and throw some of this in here as well. Now, if you're not a huge spicy fan, that is a-okay. You can go ahead and skip this step even, but I am telling you guys, this thing is so good. This little kick it adds is phenomenal. So go ahead, drop it right there. Perfect. Now up next, we have our red enchilada sauce. This stuff is so good. I get this El Paso one. And again, we're gonna get our spoon and we're gonna drizzle it right on top of all of this. So you want about one spoonful of this, okay? So this is about a tablespoon. And just drip it right on top, just like this. That way it can mix with everything. Perfect. And I highly suggest this red enchilada sauce, but if you wanna get crazy and try the green one, be, go for it, you know, be my guest. Perfect. So all of this is looking fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some diced onions, or you can go ahead and dice them up at home, but I don't like to do all that work sometimes, so I just get this stuff. There we go. Sprinkle some right on this. There we go. Alrighty, this is looking so good. What's amazing is I can already smell it and you know, the ground beef is already done. So that smells amazing, but with the onions and I can even smell the jalapenos, that little, that spiciness in the air. Oh, it's so good. Wait till it gets baked. All right, now that we have our onion in here, we're gonna go ahead and get some shredded Mexican cheese, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get a nice handful and we're gonna put it right above this. Look at that, perfect. So this cheese is going to melt into you know the top and get nice and gooey and golden and so delicious. This cheese might be one of my favorite parts of this whole taco cup. I mean, this stuff just brings in all these ingredients together. It is phenomenal. So definitely don't skimp out on the cheese. You know, if, if you don't like too much cheese, just put a little bit, but you definitely don't wanna cut out the cheese because this really is a big, big important part of this whole taco cup. If you want, you can definitely do more cheese. So I'm using about a handful, but if you wanna do two handfuls, definitely go ahead, try it out, be my guest. It'll probably be amazing. Now we're gonna start seasoning it. So we're gonna go ahead and do some garlic powder. Garlic powder in this is so good. 
The garlic powder kind of comes out strong, so a little bit goes a long way. Just go ahead and sprinkle it all over. There we go, we're sprinkling it. We're gonna keep on going, amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some black pepper as well. Open this up, I always like to do a little black pepper. Amazing. And you know, you can always do some salt, some cumin, honestly, whatever you want, but I just kinda like to stick to these little basics right here. Perfect. So we're gonna throw this into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and come back. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw this right into our oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. These taco cups are ready to go, guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead, take these out and let them sit and try them. These are all ready to go now, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and top them, of course. So we're gonna get a little bit of lettuce and put them right on top of all of them, just like this. So we just have some shredded lettuce, just like when you're eating tacos. So of course we're gonna put a little bit of lettuce right on top of these guys. This also adds a nice little crunch, which I absolutely love. There we go, perfect. So now we have our lettuce and we're gonna go ahead and grab some sour cream. And we're gonna do a little dollop of sour cream right on top of all of these guys. You can go ahead and gauge how much sour cream you guys like. And the way I like to serve this, I get a cup and we're gonna go ahead and take one of these guys out. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. This thing looks so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna dig in, get right in there. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. Well. Oh my goodness. This is so, so good. It's like everything you love about a taco, but in like a mini form. 